<clears throat> Hello, welcome to the Evolution Show. Uh, today we'll be talking about natural selection, um, with the help of the claw. Dun dun dun. Claw. Gwosh. 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 Well, well, because I'm flat on the ground, it's hard for the claw to get me. I can't be grabbed because I'm unwieldy. Now, because of our genetics, we were born with these traits. Yay. These adaptations increased our level of Fitness. Fitness in the biological sense means, um, well, um, means survive long enough. Me means did you survive long enough to reproduce? <laughs> Only the creatures that have adaptations to their environment can survive. Now, oh, pretend we aren't just good friends and, and I forgot what else I was going, I was going to say. And pretend we are the same species when we reproduce. Oh, oh my God, such a terrible thing to say. Oh, <laughs> the offspring will likely have the traits that made us so successful. This is a process of, this is, this is a process of natural selection where nature basically says, hey, if you don't already have the adaptation for your environment cause they're genetic, you die. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Now, if it was just us, the species would still die out because not enough people to, like, continue the species. Uh, pretend that at the beginning, when we were in a lineup, we were a handful of the gene pool. Natural selection is part of evolution. Also, a fact about natural selection is you also need competition or resources, but maybe we can, we could talk about that in some far flung episode. Right now, it's time to announce the next episode. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> so, next Sunday's episode is Are Humans Facing Natural Selection? Hosted by me. Isn't that great? Isn't that cool? And the episode after that, we'll be taking a break from evolution to talk about why eugenics is bad from a moral and biological standpoint. Hosted by Star Star. Starfish! <laughs> Bye. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do.